played him. So it's like I said, it's been kind of feast or famine this season as this ball now comes in. Now here's a shot right on and a kick save. Switching play out wide. That pass onto the feet of Yoshida. Yoshida with plenty of space. Yoshida with the shot and what a save. Michael Garahe saves here in the second half. And he's read the plays extremely well, has the Irish put a ball goalkeeper. there. Yeah, and he sends this one for Nielsen Ramos as well. Now here's a shot that comes right on. There's a save. Punch in Twin Cities now. And well, actually, some of the longest, you know, most drawn out conversations that we had, Matt. Nice shot there. Yeah, nice shot. Nice save. Right now, three on three break. Trying to play it off through the middle. Here's a shot right on. Save is made. Absolutely. And what a great bunch of role models, too. You think about chance here. Good save from. Yeah, that was. Jabate now on the outside. And he'll take the shot and uh, smothering that one. And here's a long shot coming in. Easy grab. Bonaparte still on the ball into the box. And he plays it back in towards the middle. Nice kick save batted away by Garrahi. Keeping it off the line. Being jockeyed by Juarez. Now he'll get a shot right on. A nice smothering stop. He'll go along with it. And Garrahi. Pretty so pleased to take it. Higher cross in, that one into the hands of Garrahi. Punting it quickly, maybe trying to get the counter set up. You could see Thornton. Right foot, Rose Manor. Now a high chipped ball in through the middle for Gaia Corbett's. the cross back post now a Lancaster Robinson and a nice intervention that time by Griezma that looked dangerous as well coach but that was a nice play Puff. and now Bonaparte on the chase chasing two Duluth defenders all the way back to the keeper in here the regular season anyway hopefully some playoff games at home as well depending on how these next three games go but Duluth FC starts Playing it over the top, looking for the on rushing Nathaniel Lancaster Robinson before it's scooped off the turf by. Top of the 18, Gary he will take the head ball back from Griezwa. And now he'll shoot it to the far side. Here's Starling. For the most part, what I've noticed here so far through two games, he's really hard to get off the ball when it comes to him. Matt, it's, yeah, he's got a lot of balance. And you see, again, the way he... So when he deflected the ball, it actually would have played that onside then, uh, and Ramos had a free look at goal. Coming together, loose ball scooped up by, for the most part, what I've noticed here so far through two games, he's really hard to get off the ball when it comes to him. Matt, it's, yeah, he's got a lot of balance, and you see, again, the way he, so when he deflected the ball, it actually would have played that onside then, uh, and Ramos had a free look at goal. Duluth FC ended up winning that game 5-0. But it's that quick strike offense that Duluth FC does possess. As now. Trying to create an opening. Ready to boot it away in towards midfield. Free kick here coming up. Karim Darbarki will take it here. He'll go along with it. And Garahi. 
able to make an easy grab of it in the middle of his own 18. One of the things that Duluth FC has really done a good job of this summer so far through two plus games, Coach, is limit the opposition's chances offensively. Only three shots against the Crows given up. Here's Thornton now giving it up. Here's a shot. They score! Starling now will go all the way back for Garrahy. Here's Solaris. Andre Solaris. Outside now, Kean Gantley. Or Uyan Tunji. Biro Yantunji, interesting story, born in Nigeria, grew up in England, and plays his soccer now at the University of West Alabama. In the meantime, here's Gantley. Left foot ball, looking for Perry. On the overlap, it's Juarez. Juarez in the middle, here's Florida with a shot, he scores! 